the largest thermometer in the world? Is that a thing? Let's check it out. It's a killer awesome day here in Baker, California. Swifty Swift! <laughs> what are we doing out here? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Um, something happened, you know, on my way out, out of California. And my goodness, I wonder what that hissing sound is. Is it a snake? Is it, a, is it a really upset cat that's just... No, of course not. <laughs> it's a tire that just blew all hell. It blew all the hell. <laughs> that's just air coming out. This is lovely, isn't it? I'm going to have to shut my air off to my trailer. That's the reason why it's, it's hissing is because there's air being supplied to the trailer for the brakes, for the air brakes. And uh, it also supplies air to the tires to keep them inflated. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> In this case, I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> See, these are the air hoses. This is considered like the emergency line, but also goes to the trailer. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> That's the main line. They all obviously they go to the trailers. So I don't know what I'm talking about, uh, but yeah, <laughs> it's, I'm just shutting those off. Is all I'm doing, and it's still hissing. So anyway, <laughs> what are we gonna do while we're here? Uh, while I, <laughs> I'm like 50 miles in either direction from a truck stop that we're. That we have an account with so if they think i'm gonna roll no i've already rolled like 20 25 miles just to get here they can get off their butt <laughs> and send someone out here to fix this tire <laughs> i'm not going anywhere and by the time they come out here to fix the tire i'm gonna be out of hours some of you might be thinking huh what do you mean what do you mean out of hours what is it what is all that what does that all mean well it's called an electronic logging device. You've only got so many hours a day that you can work, that you can drive uh, before you have to take a break. Yep, that's, that's, that's just how it is. I would say we're having a day, but we're going to make it a killer awesome day. Now, why is that? Because we are going to go over there to the largest thermometer in the world. It is over 84 degrees, apparently. Well, that's good. I could be burning and <laughs> frying out here in the heat, but it's not that bad. Not that bad at all. Hey, let's go walk over there and see what we got. The world's tallest thermometer in Baker, California is a towering steel electric sign that commemorates the scorching record of 134 degrees Fahrenheit or 57 degrees Celsius, which was recorded in nearby Death Valley on July 10th, 1913. Rising 134 feet into the desert sky, this iconic structure was constructed in 1991 by Willis Heron, who invested $700,000 to build it next to his Bun Boy restaurant.
However, the monument faced challenges, including damage from strong winds, which led to it being snapped in half shortly after construction. It was rebuilt and further reinforced with concrete. Ownership changed hands over the years, and by 2012, the power bill for operating the thermometer had soared to a staggering $8,000 per month, leading to its shutdown due to economic difficulties. In 2014, the Heron family, determined to preserve this symbol of resilience and honor Willis Heron's legacy, reclaimed ownership. They successfully relit the thermometer on the historic date of July 10th, 2014. Today, it stands as both a reminder of extreme weather and a testament to the determination of those who brought it back to life. Just a little bit of a uh, peek, I guess, <laughs> inside the uh, shop for the world's largest thermometer. Uh, the guy in there was really cool. Uh, we were talking, and he actually he he has repair tires, so there might they might have someone out here that can come out here and fix this tire. Still not going anywhere. <laughs> it's been the night here. Uh, also found out that that uh, thermometer. Um, the information, if I understood it right, when they built that, apparently the wind blew it down like the same day or something. But uh, it was like 75 mile per hour winds. But uh, yeah. And just out of courtesy, I went ahead and bought a drink. I bought a cherry Coke. It was two bucks. <laughs> it's expensive. But hey, you know, I went in there, I did filming. He didn't say anything, so seems like the least thing I can do. Well, when you happen to be out here in Baker, California, and if you're baking because of the heat, and maybe you're making some bacon, <laughs> and you want to check to see what the temperature is, there it is, <laughs> if you're wanting to know what the temperature is and everything, uh, be sure to come out here, and when you do, have a killer awesome day.